Hello, my name is Paul Rennie. I'm the Senior Composites Engineer for Lola Cars International. As Senior Composites Engineer, it's my responsibility to design all the structures uh, that are made of carbon fibre that go onto a race car such as this. So we're talking about crash structures at the front, the wings, the chassis which the driver sits in to protect him during a crash. So I have to uh, design all that structure that goes into there. Most of my time is spent um, probably in front of a, a computer at a desk, although uh, a lot of it's also spent on the shop floor talking to the people making the parts um, and also going and testing uh, structures and parts as well. I think I always, uh, maybe I didn't know it, but I think I was always from the start in, going to be involved in engineering. My father um, ran his own business, a small business, as an agricultural contractor. Um, so he had a fairly large workshop with, with lots of dangerous tools for me to play with. Um, I've always um, built things and played with things that were mechanical. Uh, I've always had, always had a very sort of mechanical, practical mind. So I think it was inevitable that I'd be involved in engineering. And, and as a young boy, it was aeroplanes that inspired me. I always liked aircraft. I do remember as a, as a young boy, probably about 10, my best friend one day saying that he'd love to be a pilot and fly aeroplanes. And I agreed with him that he could be a pilot as long as I could be his engineer and uh, design and, and engineer his aircraft. So I think from the age of 10 I knew I wanted to do engineering. I studied aerospace engineering at university, which made use of my maths, physics and design I'd done previously. Um, I still found the maths was the, the arduous bit for me, but I really enjoyed the practical side, so I enjoyed the, the drawing, the design, the analysis. Um, in my, my third year at university, I did a, a sandwich uh, placement, so I, I went off into industry and worked for a year. And I actually worked for a museum restoring old aircraft, so I got some very, very good hands-on um, experience making things, gluing things together, riveting them together, working out how big and strong they needed to be and so on. And that was, that was a very, very valuable period of my, my career. So I initially started doing design work, so using drawing boards to design parts and components for aircraft. And towards the end of my aerospace career, if you want to call it that, um, I had got involved in flight testing. So I was actually going flying twice, two or three times a week with a flight test crew, performing tests in, in flight and then analysing those results on return. So I got a very wide range of experience uh, within that company. Uh, the reason for that was I joined a small company. So you'd, you weren't a, a very small wheel in a huge company. I was, I was involved in lots of different areas. I think the turning point would be um, the day I got an, a job offer at, um, at Lola um, back in 2001. Um, and that really was by luck. I, um, I happened to dial somebody on my mobile phone by accident when I was carrying my shopping up the wall. He'd managed to get himself a job here at Lola. I hadn't spoken for two years. He called me back after I hung up on him and uh, we got chatting and, and that's how I got the contacts at Lola. The work-life balance is, is pretty good. Um, I've recently had my, my first child. I had a daughter just over a year ago. So that kind of changes things. Um, it actually makes you realise that your job probably isn't the most important thing in the world anymore and your, your child and your family are. Um, so obviously a lot of my time at the weekends goes into uh, spending time with my daughter. I really enjoy the outdoors. I love mountain biking, uh, snowboarding uh, when I can. Um, anything outdoors I, I really enjoy. but. Um, the, there's not enough time, I'm afraid, in the week to, to do as much as I'd like. But um, I've pretty much got the ideal job for me at the moment. I really enjoy my job. Um, but if, if I could choose, it'd be to involve, be involved in a, a very high-profile, high-budget uh, race car programme. And to be um, at the very, very cutting edge of a, of a programme would be, would be great fun.